Hi, so this video is a little bit different for me. I wanted to show you where I craft and how I store my things. I'm really hoping that I can hold this camera relatively still for you. So I'm standing in our kitchen at the moment and this is a room that is off the kitchen and goes into next door. For those of you who don't know, we actually bought the property next door years ago and that's where um, part of my business is and we extended our house. So this used to be the playroom, it's now a TV room and I've got a little corner that I call my own. So this is my little scrapbooking area just here. So we've got patio doors to the right of the desk. And that's the desk and these drawers are predominantly where I store everything so I'll take you through what I've got so in the corner here I've got my ink storage and my Nouveau crystal drops on top and those white things in the top left hand corner are just scraps of card that I use to cover photos or write memoirs on and things I don't know just scraps <laughs> there's my silhouette this black thing is what I use to do my filming with it's my um camera holder and the white thing behind is my light that I use it's no TT light so it gives natural daylight on the phone stand there is the sketch that I'll be working on next I've got a little pot full of just bits and pieces that I try and use on my layout my water or my mixed media and this um, is a very old wooden desk tidy from Ikea and I just keep all sorts in here so I've got my scissors hole punch, other scissors, all my pens and pencils there. Moving along, I've got my Ellie Studio kits that I use, some glue, brushes, my pair of compasses, stapler. Here I've got my planner, which I use to write down if I've joined in on any YouTube hops and things so I can keep control of what I'm doing. And then just papers and things, card that I use every day, black, white and textured. My A4 foam pads, Bramble Fox stencil, and um, oh, some sheet music. Jackie suggested that I get sheet music to stamp on, which I thought was a brilliant idea. So that's the desk tidy. And then moving into these drawers, there's still a work in progress, but the top drawer, I've got my edge distresser, my date stamp, which I use almost every day, some more pens, palette knives, my two boxes with my phone pads in, brayer and pencil, um, paint brushes. And then at the back, I rarely go into those, some boxes with some um, JD 3D print and old wood veneer from Studio Calico and things. Second drawer are my boxes of washi tape from 49 Market, my other washi tape and my rolls of adhesive, glossy accents, 62 foam pads, and then my daubers and replacement dauber heads. And then these are just some fussy cut florals that I did from Vicky Boutin a while ago. I use for cards sometimes. In this drawer, this is the drawer that I keep all of my old stash. So first of all, I've got all my sequins in a box. I've got some loose die cuts in a box. And then this is what I tend to go through when I say I'm going into my old stash. First of all, I've got my Tim Holtz um, stamp blocks because they're just handy there. And also my 49er Market film strips, which I love. This front bit has all my different enamel dots and gems and things like that and then these are all stickers and ephemera and just bits that I dig through when I want to add something to a layout. As you can see I don't have an awful lot. I try and pass things on if I know I'm not going to use them but this is just really old stash. So that's that drawer. Next drawer has got all my mists, my paints, these are just watercolour paints that you see me using quite often, my vibes, distress oxides, tissue that I use to map photos and then my big punches. So these are just some of them, my border punches and my bigger circle punches, tab punch, hexagon punch. And then at the back you can see I've got my gesso, some more gesso, creative effects, gold glaze, texture paste and that's that drawer and then finally the bottom drawer I've got my box of shimmers you can see the colours at the bottom they're very pretty um, a box of JD3D wood veneer my Lindy's Magicals my box of a little magpie flare and then the 49er market tickets so that's that drawer 
my actual desk drawers are used for work really. The first one here where I sit has my two trimmers in and then a load of silhouette bits and pieces, my threads when I want to use threads and a box full of um, JD 3D print bits and pieces that weren't good enough to sell so I just kept hold of them because I use them on my layouts. And this side is just my mats and my card for the silhouette. Moving around to this side, we've got my three albums, 2022 A and B, and then 2023. I try and keep my most recent albums here. These are made by my lovely friend, Julie. Her husband is a bookbinder and he makes the most fantastic albums. So if you want any details, let me know and I can send you her way. These are my white off card, um, white card off cuts that I use to map my photos with. And this album, I've got all my stencils in. So I'll show you that. So the, at the front, I've got all the Tim Holtz ones. And then they're just in these six by eight folders and one on each side, separated by just spare card and paper that I've got. Finally, this drawer here is the one that I keep. It's a new drawer Ross sorted out for me. It's an RTV cabinet. But in the bottom, I've got all my stamps right along here, and then all my alphabets. And I can just flick through when I need an alphabet and find what I want. So stickers in this bit here, and then thickers, and the bigger ones there. And then at the very front, ones that are too big to fit. <laughs> So just a few bits and pieces there. And then on the top, I've got two baskets with punches and stamps. So these are my other punches, my crocodile. And these are roller stamps and these. I really need to go through these because I don't use an awful lot of this. So I could do with passing those on. And I think, oh yep, some dies that I must have picked up for patchworking. <laughs> So that's that. And then moving away from my desk, over here, these are the CD racks that you can get from Ikea. And predominantly it's business stuff. So this is all for the shop, all the lovely six by eight albums. But here I've got some little boxes that are mine. So these are all photos and I just write on them with a black marker pen because you can use alcohol to rub that off when you've finished. So these are pre-printed photos that I want to get scrapped. And then here are ephemera pieces. So this is um, Spectrum Sherbet. That's all I've got left now of the Spectrum Sherbet. Pink Fresh Simply the Best is almost done. Pink Fresh Good Times, and that's a lot of fussy cut bits and JD 3D print bits. Firmwood. Just Christmas die cuts and things from when I was doing my December daily. And then two for print shop. One's got all the ephemera pieces and the papier pack. And then the other one is the chipboard. And finally, these are the labels that you see me using from my Ellie Studio label stamp. And that's that. And then moving into the next room is where I keep all my papers. So at the very top, you can see all my albums. These are all Pete's albums from my lovely friend, Julie. And then I have one cube here which it has um, Vicky Booting Print Shop, 49er Market Spectrum Sherbet and Vicky Booting Firmwood. Then I've got just leftover papers from years ago and winter and Christmas papers. And that's it, the top half is all for um, business. So just those five there for those. And then I've recently acquired one of these tubs from Ikea again. And in here are all my papers. So this is new to me, Simple Stories Wildflower, and I use these envelopes. I find them really handy, Paper Mania envelopes, all record sleeves. So this is the Heart Eyes collection that Jackie and I did the nest box with. That's all I've got left, so that's in a record sleeve. My Halloween, everything Halloween. Um, Alina from 49 and Market. I haven't used that very much. I must get some more use out of that one. I just took a few bits from the simple vintage winter woods from Simple Stories here. So just a few papers, the chipboard and the sticker book is there. Um, the baby collection from Simple Stories, Boho Baby, that's almost finished. Jen Hadfield Stardust, I just took the 6x8 paper pad from that, the sticker sheet, the foam stickers, oh and the enamel dots. 
This is Serenity. I'm almost through that now. I've been working hard at using that up. My Bella Besties from School is Cool. Backwards. <laughs> Some of these are backwards as I rush to put them back in. This is Vintage Seas, uh, Simple Vintage Vintage Seas from Simple Stories, almost used up now. I've got um, Pink Fresh Studio Simply the Best because I join in on Pink Fresh Fridays, so I always have a couple of Pink Fresh collections on the go. And finally, Pink Fresh Good Times. And that is that. There's just one more cube up here which I share with the kids. It's just full of uh, acrylic paints and things, so that's what I'll pull out if I want to use acrylic paints. And I'll just spin you back. So there's my desk and all the mess associated with it. And I've got my son's old gaming chair because he doesn't use it anymore. So that's what I sit on. And that's it. Thank you so much. I really hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you an insight into where I work and how I store all my stash. Thanks again. Bye.